the directions of the magnetic field can be determined by uh, two methods or two rules uh, Maxwell's screw rule and uh, the right hand grip rule uh, okay? uh, personally I prefer the second one the right hand grip rules uh, okay? I seldom use the Maxwell screw rule but anyway uh, in SPN you still need to know Maxwell screw rule okay? because sometimes in objective questions uh, uh, they will draw the diagrams of Maxwell screw rules uh, and then they will ask you okay, which one is the uh, correct use of Maxwell screw rule so you still need to know Maxwell screw rules uh, even though uh, if you don't like Maxwell screw rule you still need to know in uh, my tuitions okay, usually I will use uh, right hand grip rules uh, to show you uh, the directions of the field so let's start with uh, right hand grip rules uh, right hand grip rules of course eh, from the name then you should know that you should use your right hand and eh? don't use your left hand eh? because a lot of students are right handed uh, in exam okay so they they use their right hands to write uh, when they see a questions okay so straight away uh, they will use their left hands to find the field uh, that's not correct eh? so if you're left uh, right handed so if you see the questions then you have to uh, put down your pen okay and then use your right hand to find the directions of the field eh? make sure that you, uh, you you use the right hand okay so for this right hand grip rules eh? you just imagine that uh, this is a wire okay this is a wire so you use your right hand to grip the wire okay to grip the wire in this way and the thumb the thumb shows the directions of the current okay the thumb shows the directions of the current eh? so this is current and the other four fingers show the directions of the field so the thumb shows the directions of the currents the, 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 the other fingers show the directions of the field eh? so the C so this one eh? okay because the, the, the finger shows that is uh, anti-clockwise eh? so the field is anti-clockwise the currents go up eh? the currents go up and then the field is uh, uh, counterclockwise okay so that is how we use the right hand grip rules to determine the directions of the field then uh, for the Maxwell screw rules so you just imagine that you have a screw the sharp end of the screw shows the directions of the current the directions of the current then you try to imagine that if you want to tighten a screw if you ever use uh, this screw and screwdrivers okay when you want to tighten the screw uh, we, we always uh, turn clockwise eh? okay and that is the directions of the field so this point to the directions of the current and we turn eh? we always turn clockwise eh? for screw if you want to tighten the screw we always turn clockwise so that is the directions of the field so that is how we use uh, this uh, right hand grip rules or Maxwell screw rules eh? to determine the directions of the field uh, we seldom seldom use this one okay for me I actually I don't like this method but you still still you need to know eh? okay yeah, it may come up in uh, objective questions that uh, they would like you to identify uh, the directions of the field by using Maxwell screw rules.